Rohingya refugees in Bangladesh are facing difficult choices. Aid from the World Food Programme has been further reduced. Janwara Begum says she is struggling to feed her family of four. With this new ration cut, we have limited choices in essential items. In the past, we could somehow manage and had a wider choice of basic food items on the list, but it's difficult now. Other people in this camp in Cox's Bazar have similar experiences. There are a few items to select from. Before, I was able to choose from a wider variety of basic essentials that I needed. Many are already skipping meals due to food shortages. The $8 a month for a country like yours cannot even buy a salad, a meal. And now that the refugees has to leave a month, entire month with this $8. And this is in the situations where refugees are already extremely at risk of malnutrition, scabies and other preventable illnesses. Aid officials said that with less food, families may resort to extreme measures such as children being withdrawn from school or girls forced into marriage. Malnutrition levels will definitely go up um, and unfortunately the levels as is right now is already too high, just below the global emergency thresholds. Um, we've also seen that children are now going out uh, looking for employment, which is a protection issue, and it may create further conflict if they go out of the camp to look for jobs outside uh, their camps with the uh, host communities. Six years into refugee crisis, more than a million Rohingya who fled persecution in Myanmar remain stranded in Bangladesh without any job opportunities and relying entirely on donor assistance. Despite concerted humanitarian efforts by aid agencies, nearly 45% of Rohingya families are not eating an adequate diet, and malnutrition is widespread in the camps. Government officials in charge of refugee affairs are concerned. This ration cut will directly affect them. From $12 to $8, that's a 33% decrease. It'll not only affect their nutritional intake, but it'll also have an adverse psychological impact. With new refugee crises developing in other parts of the world, UN agencies are finding it increasingly difficult to get enough funding for Rohingyas. Tanvi Chaudhry, Al Jazeera, Cox's Bazaar, Bangladesh.